Hello, in this video we're going to import a shapefile into OpenRoads Designer, and more specifically use ProjectWise to do that. So first we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the shapefile that we're going to be importing. So I'm in ProjectWise and I'm just in a scratch folder of a training um, data set, and I have my shapefile that I'm going to be using. So shapefiles need three mandatory files in order to operate uh, properly. The first, of course, is the shapefile itself, or the .shp, and that's what holds all of our geometry. We also need a .shx file, and this is our shape index format, um, which is kind of a positional index of all the geometry inside that shape file. And the third and final mandatory file is a .dbf. So a .dbf is a, a, the attribute format for all of our um, attributes that are inside that shape file. And then I also have a fourth file in here um, that's going to help us, and it's a .prj. So this is a projection file that uses well-known text, or WKT, to describe what the coordinate system of that data is. And this is going to come in, uh, into play here when we're doing two different um, methods of importing and uh, referencing into OpenRoads Designer. So I'm going to open my design file here, and I'm using a 2D file, and since I'm bringing in some parcel data, I have it in a BR or a right-of-way base map file. So first thing we're going to look at um, under utilities and geographic is our coordinate system. So I have this set in the Ohio North Zone grid coordinate system, and even though the data that I'm going to be bringing in is in the South Zone, so I kind of want to demonstrate uh, what the Open Roads Designer does as you're importing this in. So before we start importing uh, these files in, we need to go into ProjectWise and uh, copy these files out to our working directory. So like I mentioned before, these, fi these three files are mandatory uh, for using a shapefile. And in order for OpenRoads Designer to find these sister files, uh, we'll need to copy them out to our working directory so when we import our shape, these will be named properly in the right location. So I'm just going to highlight my uh, documents inside of ProjectWise and right click and do a copy out. So what this is doing is it's copying these files from ProjectWise and putting them into my working directory. Um, I, I, can, I have edit access to all of these, so I have the little pencil there. Um, and we're going to be uh, in doing this two different ways. So the first way we're going to do is I'm just going to go under File and Import and import file data. It's a common file type and we can go straight down to our uh, SHP or shape file. I can browse inside of ProjectWise um, or I could hit cancel and go and attach something from outside of ProjectWise. Our data is inside ProjectWise so we're going to go ahead and go to our folder and select our shape file. So I'm going to go ahead and click open and it's going to read that data in from my working directory. We can see the path there, and that's where my working directory is set for the training testing data source. So as this is importing in, uh, one thing I want to mention is the, the coordinate system that it's using. So when we use the import command, we don't get the option to select our coordinate system. Um, so in doing that, let me use an example of adding a background map. So I'm going to add the hybrid um, the hybrid map to my design file, and we'll add the hybrid in. So I'm using the view attributes background map, and then we're adding hybrid. So now if I zoom out, if you're familiar with Ohio, um, that these coordinates for this file uh, are in the south zone. So uh, Pickaway County is uh, just south of uh, Franklin County, south of Columbus, um, not up here near Lake Erie. So when using the import command, we need to make sure that our uh, coordinates of our file that we're importing into is the same as the coordinates of the file that we are importing. The other method uh, to bring this file type in is to attach it as a reference. Um, so I'm going to attach it just like I would any DGN, DXF, DWG that I'd be bringing in um, as a reference. So I'm going to go ahead and browse to my shape file. Now I am going to have to change the file extension to all documents since it's not one of the um, typical files. And I'm going to go ahead and attach this using the interactive method. So when do using the interactive method, this is going to allow me to select the geographic reprojected option uh, in my alignment options. Um, 
So normally we would select coincident world if we were using the same coordinate system for both files, or I can use geographic reprojected and it's going to reproject my data to the master uh, coordinate system. Now I would recommend that this is used just to align data and not to uh, reproject the data um, in its final use, uh, more just for aligning data and uh, uh, correcting coordinate systems, not uh, assigning them um, and rewriting the coordinates for that file. So now it's going to uh, attach that reference and add a, that shape file in as a reference. And we're going to see that it's going to, to hold that uh, coordinate system um, and reproject that file into the correct location for us. So now we can see that uh, Pickaway County is indeed where Pickaway County is. And we line up uh, pretty well for our, our GIS type data. So this is how you import a uh, shape file into OpenRoads Designer using uh, ProjectWise.